Hey everyone, so we're just here. It's actually Monday right now while we're filming this. We're getting ready. We're loading up this truck to, to move into the YYC Home and Garden Show. So we just did the, the renovation show back in January. Now it's been about two months since then and we're getting ready to, to set up our booth down there. So this is actually a little bit bigger show than the other one. So the last show we moved in on Wednesday and the show started on Friday. But this one we move in on today, Monday, and the show starts on Thursday. So we've got some really cool new designs that we're gonna have in the booth. Uh, we've got a door that's in there at the back. We've got this big, this is actually like a, a 16 foot walnut slab right here. Uh, it's the biggest one that we've ever had. And then just the components for the booth. So we'll be, we'll be vlogging this whole thing. We wanna show you what it really takes for us to, to move into one of these shows. And, just our luck, it happens to be about minus 27 degrees outside right now, so it'll be nice and warm. We're getting ready, I think, what, 96 liters right now? 96. Yeah, we're doing 96 liters in here. Uh, it's gonna be for an oval table. For this one, we're doing eight 12 liter buckets, so it's eight liters of resin and then four liters of hardener in each one, and of course, our buckets only go up to three and a half liters, so we're doing, basically we do three, three, and then two for resin, and then three and one for the, the hardener. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, alright, I guess I'll have to count down. Three, two, one, go! Crazy. Oh, he's moving his elbow so much. Oh, excuses now, we're hearing the excuses. Joe's got his shoulder in it. Get in there, Sager. <laughs> Come on, Sager! You gotta finish him off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Joe wins. We just got done doing the pour, and Sagar and Joe just got done arm wrestling if you happen to catch the live stream. Um, but this was 96 liters we did in here. It's, gonna, it's going to be an oval shaped table. Like I said, we just built a square mold so that we can cut it oval after. We'll leave this thing in here for three days, and then we'll demold it, and then we'll leave it for another few days to finally cure. But we want to take this piece to our next trade show, which is the YYC Home and Garden Show. That's first weekend of March, so that's when you guys will get to see this piece totally debuted. We got everyone loaded up in the truck here, and then we got, there's another big rider truck. So we have so much stuff, we actually had to rent one. Um, and it's just a lot easier, like we could use our trailer, but it's just a lot easier for us to do that. Uh, today, we've got, what do we have? We've got the walls, the slab, the door. A couple coffee tables. A couple coffee tables, but most of the big stuff we're probably gonna take tomorrow, because we still got a couple coats of finish to go. Yeah, the teardown won't be in this video, but if you guys follow us on Instagram, you can see all that there. This was definitely a challenging show for us to get ready for. It was a big time crunch. Like some of these tables got moved in like two hours ago. 
but we pulled it off. So we've got all of our pieces in the booth. We've got our new white background set up. It looks great. So I just want to give you guys an overview of the booth and kind of show you everything that's in here. And since it's a question we get a lot in the comments, I'm going to tell everyone all of the prices for, for everything in this booth. So let's, let's start on this side. So we got right here, this is, this is cherry, right? Yes. Yeah, solid cherry door unit. And those are hand carved, are they? Yeah, they are too, yeah. Yeah, so we got this solid cherry do door unit, hand carved by Doug Pauls. It's for the N over N Ranch, yeah. I'm pretty sure. And we're gonna be installing this probably next week sometime. This door is about $18,000. Like, how many hours of labor? Go into a about 100 hours goes into 100 a door hours? like this, and the rest would be material. Yeah, yeah. so okay. you gotta think of that. Like our shop rate, 100 bucks an hour, hundred dollars an hour there's ten thousand dollars just in labor in a door like this so it's it's not like we're just banging these things together where we really take our time to make and that sure includes the installation as well too so yeah fully installed so it's you know we think that it's worth every penny you know we truly truly believe that and then we've got this big slab here this is salvage black walnut 16 feet tall four feet wide actually salvaged out of someone's front yard in Toronto. The, the tree had grown so big it was banging against their house and became a fire hazard. So they, they had to remove the tree, cut it down, and usually something like that would get chipped up and go to waste, but we were able to get it salvaged, have it slapped up, and we've got a $10,000 salvaged black walnut slab here. In front of us, this is our second ever oval table. Uh, this one's made with Clara Walnut that we got from Gobi Walnut. They're a great supplier of ours down in Oregon. And it's paired with an oval base on the bottom from Forge 53. So that's actually solid uh, three quarter inch by two inch steel that's been heated up and bent around this radius here. And then we've attached it, you can't really see them, but we've attached it to the bottom with threaded inserts. So this piece we're selling for 12,500. It's really, again, a really special piece because you can see it's got the tapered edge on the bottom. It's about two and a half inches thick here, tapers down to three quarters of an inch. And this is all cut on our CNC router parts machine. Then we got, uh, let's, let's show them these little end tables. Yeah, the, these end tables, again, a new design for us. So we got the blue, the one that you guys built from a couple videos ago. Then we've got this kind of purple one, and we're selling all these for $995. Uh, they're actually a, a pretty affordable option compared to some of the other pieces we have, and they're all made, again, with salvaged wood, most of it coming from the, the Toronto area. Um, now we'll talk about this coffee table. And this one, since they're they're sort of a matching set, they both came from the same tree. It was a big leaf maple tree that came from Vancouver Island, and it had actually, this one also had fallen over into a ditch, uh, soaked in water, and we actually have a video of the guy pulling it out with a chain on his pickup truck, and he sawed it up. Some of it, we air dried it for a few months, and then we sent some of it to a kiln to finish it off, and then we made these two matching coffee tables, so the, the blue one on this side, it's five grand, and then the, the black one to the other side, that's 5,500. This we actually had at the last home show, so there's been people that have seen this piece before. It's our four inch thick maple burl table. Uh, again, a piece that was in a ditch, you can see it had a lot of rot going on. That's why there's all this uh, discoloration and a bunch of different colors going on, because this was rotting and beginning to decay. So we took the slab, it was four inches, just over four when we did the pour, and we totally cast it and submerged it in resin. So not only have we added all this resin to the outside, but we've also stabilized all of that rotten wood by using the resins. And we're selling this piece for also 12,500. Now, now this is probably the one I'm the most excited about by far. This is our granite river table. So this again is made with Clara Walnut from Gobi down in Oregon. And we laid out these slabs, we took a photo, we made a 3D program on our computer and drew the shape of the granite that we wanted. We sent one copy of that file to our CNC machine to cut the recess in the wood. Then we sent another copy of that file to Fort Stone and Tile where they cut the granite the exact same shape. And then just to tie this whole piece together, we've actually inlaid strips of granite into the base here, cut from the exact same slab of granite. So both of these came from the same slab. This is Clara Walnut, this is Black Walnut, and this piece is also being sold for, for 12,500. You know, it was, we probably should be asking a little more because we actually 
we, we struggled on this piece. Honestly, it was a, a big challenge for us to figure out how we were gonna do it because it's our first piece. So there was a lot of extra hours that went into this piece, but you know, since it's our first one, we wanna get it out to the market. We wanna see it in someone's home. We're asking 12,500 for this one. And I guess the last thing is these art pieces. So this is our, our new, again, a new concept we've kind of done to make a, a 3D effect in the resin. Most of our resin pours just have this kind of metallic pattern in here, but this is much, much different. We've actually got a lot of 3D swirls going on. It's got depth to it. Like when you see it in person, you can see down into the different swirls of the pigment. It looks really, really cool. So these, the prices on these, we've got uh, 395, 595, and 595, and then there's this. This is not for sale to us. This piece is absolutely priceless. It's our first ever resin river piece we made, and it, it basically started this whole trend. There was no one else making these tables really. Like, I won't say no one, there was a couple of them, but they weren't popular. We made this piece and it blew up. So it's, it's actually got kind of a funny story to it on why we even made this. So I had seen people that had done river tables before and used glass. So we had this new product that we got called liquid plastic and it wasn't meant for tables like this. That was not what it was designed for, but it was right after Christmas and I had nothing to post on Instagram, absolutely nothing. So I thought, okay, well, I need to make some content, so let's take this piece of wood, let's cut it in half, flip the live edges in, and just try pouring this new resin in and see how it works. So I did that, poured it, took the video, I put it on our Instagram page, got three million views, which blew my mind, couldn't believe it, we'd never had a video with three million views. And then a media company reached out to me and said, can we put it on our Facebook? Uh, their name's My Modern Met. We'll probably give a link to this video somewhere in, in the description or on screen right now. And they put it on their page. It got 140 million views. We, we couldn't believe it. We were completely floored. And that's what's given us the opportunity to basically start this whole thing and also allow other makers, people like yourselves, to try it too and get involved. So we will never, ever, ever sell this piece, unfortunately. But that's... That's kind of the that's kind of the rundown on the booth. Um, it's uh, uh, one of our probably our favorites we've ever done. You know we say that every year, but I think this is the nicest booth we've ever brought to the show. And for those of you who are watching this and were able to to make it by on the Thursday or Friday, we really appreciate it. And even at the time that this is uploading, there's still two more days of the show, Saturday and Sunday. It's at the BMO Center in Calgary. So if you guys live in Calgary and you want to see these in person, we would really, really appreciate it if you could make it by the show and stop by. We'll probably have a link for tickets as well. Um, but that's about it for the booth. Thank you, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this. See ya. <laughs> Crushing my thumb. Get it over with. Get it over with. I can't. <laughs>